I'm Janet Johnson with Social Media Hangout Time. I am very excited today. I'm a little disappointed today because Kimmy, our social media puppet, aka Lisa Celine, is not able to join us today. But we are going to have a blast because I have a very, very special guest. And her name, some of you may have heard of Canva, but some of you who haven't heard of Canva yet, you are in for a treat because we have the owner here. Melanie Perkins. So welcome, Melanie. Hello. Thank you so much for having me on. Absolutely. We're very much looking forward to it. I'm going to read a little bit about your background and talk uh, about that, and then I'll let you take off and talking about Canva. Sounds um, great. Melanie is she's the CEO and co-founder of Canva, and Canva is an online platform that makes graphic design amazingly simple for everyone. And I can vouch for that because I've used it many times. Since launching six months ago, more than one million designs have been created, created using Canva by 320,000 users. This has, company has grown really fast. Everywhere I turn there, I hear social media people talking about this. Previously, at age 19, Melanie founded her first company, Fusion Books an online design system for schools to create their yearbooks. Fusion Books is now the largest yearbook publisher in Australia and recently expanded to France and New Zealand. Now that's an interesting note. Wow, you started young. That is awesome. Well, thank you, Melanie, for coming on. And um, let's talk a little bit first. Let's start out, uh, let's start out with the, the cool announcement that you had yesterday. Yeah, sure. We are really excited to um, welcome Guy Kawasaki to our team. Um, it's absolutely phenomenal for us. It all actually just started out with a tweet just to show the power of social media. We actually saw that um, Guy had created a design in Canva and then one of my co-founders reached out to him and next thing we knew we were closing him to join our team um, wow. in his, at his place in um, Palo Alto. So. Yeah, it's really exciting. That is. That is that's incredible. I mean, that's just amazing. Just to, just through a tweet. I mean, it does. You're exactly right. It shows that power of social media is is just amazing. So, well, congratulations on that too. So we'll hear more about that, I'm sure. And let's talk a little bit about how how you came up with this idea. Because some people have never heard of Canva here. So let's talk about what made you create this in the first place? Yeah, sure. When I was at university, I was teaching design programs like Photoshop and InDesign, and students just struggled to learn the basics. This was for classes like communications and for sciences, and people often need to design for all sorts of different things, but without the tools, and with really complex tools, it's really difficult. And so I realized that in the future, design would all be online and collaborative and simple. And so that was seven years ago now, and um, have been pursuing that vision ever since. So as you mentioned before, I started my first company, Fusion Books, which was an online design system for the school yearbook market. But every time people were using it, they were saying, can we use this for other designs? And we said, well, you know, a few years into it, we're like, okay, yeah, let's do this. And so a couple of years started out on the whole Silicon Valley journey and meeting investors over that way and decided to really take that concept of simple design to that mass consumer market. And so we launched Canva in August last year and now we've actually just hit 1.5 million um, designs as of yesterday. So it's been absolutely yeah. insane. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I also uh, heard that, you know, I've used a lot of your designs. And like you know, it's so simple to make a Facebook cover, for instance. Or I like to just go in there sometimes and put my own um, dimensions and just create from scratch, kind of my own designs, throw in a logo. Or I actually have a graphic designer myself that, because the exact reasons you said, I got to a point where I was like, I can't learn everything. I just can't be the graphic designer, the social media person, the SEO person, this, 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 you know, you keep going on and on. I just couldn't do it. Yeah. And so I hired and I he I send him to Canva all the time too. Not that he needs it necessarily, but for the the different 
layouts that you have in there are so cool. So I'm like, go get ideas there. And also to grab uh, images for a dollar. Yes. Love that. Yes. So why don't you talk about that a little bit, the images for the dollar. <laughs> We've actually found huge uptake with designers as well. Um, designers often struggle going backwards and forwards with PDFs with their clients, trying to, you know, every time they're making a text change, change one there to another there, and all of these tiny little annoying text changes. So having Canva, they can just send their client a link. So for business cards, that's super helpful when they have new staff start, and all sorts of flyers where, you know, you're just wanting to update the text. Um, so that's been really great to see Canva take off in the design community so well. With, sorry, one second. No. <laughs> With the um, images for a dollar, so what we wanted to do was to make stock photography affordable for everyone. So at the moment there's, you know, stock photography libraries and you might be paying $20 or $50 for an image and you can't afford that for every social media post that you want to do or for your blog when you're just trying to create something really nice. Some people are posting, you know, many times a day and for bloggers that's just not affordable at all. So what we wanted to do was really bring that price point down to a place where people can use it much more frequently and this stops people stealing images because it's much easier just to pay a dollar for an image and to know that you're legally sound. But then why we were able to offer such a low price is we introduced a whole new business model. So we've got, it's called a one-time use license. So rather than purchasing an image and downloading it and using it over and over again and paying for it for you know, 20 to $50, dollars, we wanted to bring the price point down and give it to, to use in one design only, which means that you can use a lot more images and um, not having to use the same images time and time again. So yeah. nice. I, I and you know that's where I go to search now for image. Like you just hit the little search, and there's so much, so many come up. You know, it's like it just goes on and on and on. So I mean, anybody that hasn't used Canva, you just gotta. You one of the things I suggest is just trying it, and you gotta go play with it. Now I listen to uh, also Pinteresting a lot. Yeah, and I know yeah. you've been interviewed there. Actually, that is the place I learned about you. Yeah, that was the very first place. Yeah, so, and uh, they met, she met, she talks about you all the time too, and she mentioned just the other day that you came out with a new Pinterest lay, Pinterest sizing and layouts and stuff like that. Yeah, so we launched Pinterest in the perfect dimensions for Pinterest. But that's really, I mean, with Canva, we're really just getting started. We have so much more yet to do. Um, every design type in the world needs great designs and needs, you know, great inspiration. So we really are just getting started with that. But yes, launching Pinterest has been really fun. It's been so well received by the Pinner community. Nice, nice. Yeah, I love it because I was, you know, I've heard so many different sizes, so many different you, you just aren't sure a lot of times what sizes to use. And so yeah. now we can refer to Canva. <laughs> we can just go, what size should we use? Oh, well, we got to go to Canva. We'll try. They, they have the right <laughs> sizes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you use that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, now you wanted to, you had maybe some things you could share with us visually. Did you want to go ahead yeah, and screen absolutely. share? And for those of you that are listening, just try to, you know, catch it as best as you can. She's going to try to explain it as well as she can. And if you're not catching it, then come back and just uh, watch the show anytime you'd like. Okay. I'm going to screen. Fantastic. So can you see? Yep. Yep. I locked it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So what I thought I'd do, I'd start off by showing you the 23 second intro. So the whole, the funny part is, I guess, when I was teaching the design programs, it was taking a whole semester just to navigate your way around the site. It seemed so crazy. And so when we launched Canva, we really wanted to help people to get over the fear that they can't design or that it was going to take too long to learn. And so we put this 23 second intro to really help alleviate um, any of those concerns. So you just come in. This is what you're showing when you log into Canva for the very first time. So I'll click show me how it's done. And so you literally just come over here and search for whatever it is that you want. And then you'll see the search results and you can drag it onto your page. You can resize the elements. Um, you can come over here to the text tab and then you can add text onto your page. You've got all sorts of different text holders you can choose from. And you can click publish 
and then you can download it as an image or as a PDF. And so that is literally it. That's the main learning curve with Canva. It's just search and drag and then publish. And then what we do is we take you through these starter challenges. So because I guess everyone's so concerned that they're not going to be able to design, they think that it's not something that they have as their, you know, part of the repertoire of things that they can do. So it was really important that we completely alleviated that with these starter challenges. And so you literally just scroll down, it's all in Canva, so you're learning the interface and how it works. And you get taken through some really simple challenges like change the colour of the circle. So you literally just click on the circle and you can click on the little icon there and you can choose your favourite colour. And then you can scroll down and do the next one and it says um, search for a hat and put it on this monkey. We have this picture of this monkey here. Um, but we wanted to get people familiar with searching. so. You, you literally come over here and you search for a hat and then you can find the, your favourite hat and drag it onto your page. This is cool. I haven't been through the demo. I just kind of jumped right in. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, fantastic. So you can choose, you choose the hat that you want and you just drag it onto his head and of course you can resize it but that looks pretty perfect to me. Mm -hmm. and then you background to the page. So over here on the left hand side we have all the different tabs which takes you through things like layouts and texts and backgrounds and of course you can upload your own photos. And so it makes it really, really simple to get all the assets that you need without having to um, worry too much about you know, finding the assets and cutting them out and using all the different tools and stock photography libraries and that sort of thing. So yeah, I can literally just drag a background directly onto my page and I can even actually change the colour of the backgrounds here. And of course if you get stuck you can just click need a hint and it will actually show you a video of how to do the challenge as well which is a really good resource if you get stuck during any of this. So that is, This is like, this is so simple which is what yeah. you need. <laughs> I mean, that is what people need. They need simple. You know, it's kind of like I told you, you know, I'm an elementary education major, and that's where, you know, bringing it down to the first grade and the second grade level is what people need because the Internet has gotten so complicated now. Absolutely. And I really fundamentally believe that the software programs shouldn't be about the user having to spend years upon years learning how to use them. They should be so inviting and so simple that you can just jump in and you feel confident and you feel happy and you're able to get what you want done quickly rather than it being this whole process that makes you feel dumb because you don't know how to <laughs> do something. <laughs> Completely so agree. You can just drag the images directly into that. Um, photo placeholder. And so you can do things like crop. We've actually just recently introduced a whole range of photo filters. So you can just click on them. Actually, this is really fun. This is We just launched this quite recently. Um, so we've got these Instagram style filters which look really nice. But nice. Is, nice. Really cool. hmm. So cool. if you click on the options here, we actually have all of these different sliders. So we've got seven sliders. So you can change the color, the tint, you can blur the images which makes beautiful backgrounds. You can um, add a vignette around it. All of these things and then what is particularly cool is if you find a filter that you really like, you can just copy this filter code and use it on another image. So for branding you always are trying to make your brand have a consistent image, um, you're often trying to convey a certain message and so having um, using consistent filter codes for either a blog series or for your whole brand on social media can really help to convey that um, beautiful image and that's very consistent. Well, it, it takes your brand to, you know, one of the things that I'm always preaching is, you know, you are your brand. And so whatever yeah. you're putting out there is going to represent you. And if you're putting out, and nowadays images are, so, visual marketing is, obviously, obviously become one of the big, big things out there and so we we want to make sure that it's looking quality and that's what your company provides, not just some, you know, random thing. You know you're going to get quality with Canva because from everything I've, we've seen, if that's what you yeah. have. 
-hmm. it is so important. I think that you know, back in the olden days when you describe your brand in text or you know, only the big brands had you know, beautiful imagery, it was easier to get away with not being able to convey your brand properly. But nowadays everything's so visual and you know, having really ugly graphics or not having any graphics at all, it just, it, it's really hard for your brand to stand out and for you to grow a loyal following and to have a personality that's conveyed. So I think images are a great way to help to do that and then having that consistent um, consistent imagery, consistent colouring, you know, even consistent fonts can really help to um, convey your personality. Absolutely, yep, love it. So we can come over here and we can drag a layout directly onto the page um, and then you can see these image placeholders so you can upload your own images, you can pull your photos directly from Facebook. Um, it's all designed to be you know, fully inside the application so you're not having to worry about using any other tools or um, not having the stock photography or graphics that you need. And you can see here we've got loads of beautiful um, layouts that you can use and just drag straight onto your page. And so can you talk a little bit about, well, you know, here you're finished yeah. and, then, and then after that when you, can you talk a little bit about the different specific layouts that you do have too because I know you have the specific Facebook and Pinterest and we mentioned the Pinterest obviously. Yeah, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll come here to my home page. So to actually choose a layout, all you have to do is um, go to your home page and we have all sorts of different design types that you can see. Um, all you have to do is literally just click on one of them and it's done. So you come in here and it gives you a little demo create and edit and learn and this is for the first time you come through but um, you can click social media graphics, presentations, posters, Facebook covers, blog graphics, Pinterest, um, documents, and you can scroll through here as well. Documents, I guess I've never even caught that one before, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> cards and photo collages and business cards and invitations and Facebook ads. Um, and then of course you can use your own custom dimensions and so you can just put in whatever number that you want and then click design and it will create a design um, in that size. And then while we're here I'll show you a few other things. So we've got editor's picks so you can choose um, one of these designs just by clicking on them just to give you a little bit of inspiration. Um, and then design tutorial. So this is a fantastic place um, to come if you are wanting to learn a little bit more about design. So every week we send out a new tutorial. So even if you have absolutely no design skills at the moment, um, it, I mean, firstly, you can just use the layouts. But as you start to use Canva more and more, you might want to start experimenting with your own unique designs. And so just like that tutorial we went through then, um, we, you can go through these tutorials and it teaches you things about depth and um, photo filters and columns and branding and all sorts of different things. So we really wanted to make that um, very simple to help learn some of the fun um, fundamentals of design. Yeah, yeah, and I get that email each day and I think it's uh, very simple to the point and uh, I love the little lessons because it's something that you make it short and simple enough so that we're not moving away from our main business. You know, that's the one thing that always concerns me with, you know, the, the business owners. Uh, our, our audience is mostly, you know, the small business owners and entrepreneurs, that kind of thing, and they, they don't have a lot of time for this, and that's what you're saving them tons of time, but they're getting quality. Absolutely, yeah. It, it is about just trying to help people to get to what they want to do as quick as possible. The shortest line there and um, feeling confident, feeling happy and getting a design that you feel comfortable with is um, certainly important. So you mentioned before Pinterest graphics. Yeah. So here is my Pinterest page and we've got all sorts of graphics that are designed specifically for Pinterest. Um, and so again all you do is drag the image onto the page and you can replace the images with your own images. Um, it's all been designed to be very quick and simple so all you do is put your design there and then you click publish and then you can publish it um, and download and upload it to Pinterest. So very, very simple. It's almost like, uh, you know, infographics are so popular but I, and I, and we've done many of those, uh, many infographics ourselves,
but these look like you could you could almost create your own infographics. Is that yeah, correct? absolutely, definitely. It's um, all been designed to be like you can do any graphics. So we've found people doing presentations and. Um, I mean, many, many presentations, absolutely everything under the sun. We, When we first started, I found it hilarious that someone in Norway was building a um, brochure for his um, fish company, at the fish market. So I just thought it was really bizarre, the globalization, like being able to have people around the world creating new brochures and marketing materials and blog graphics for all sorts of bizarre things that I wouldn't have necessarily expected. Huh, huh. I just, I love it. I love it. Um, do you have any specific advice for the creating these graphics? I mean, what would you, if somebody, let's just say, I've played with it a lot, but let's say somebody that's never been on Canva before, mm -hmm. after they go through that tutorial, obviously that would be their first step. What would you say would be the next steps to, to do for them? Yeah. Somebody that doesn't know anything. Let's just start with somebody that really not a graphic designer, not brand, into branding, they really don't get it. Let's start way yeah. at the beginning. Well, I think the first, the absolute first thing they need to do is obviously just get on. I think that that's the, one of the biggest hurdles is people just feeling scared of it and it absolutely, it's been designed to be as unscary as humanly possible. Um, I think so once they've got online, they've then done those starter tutorials, to then just publish a design. And I think that that's sort of the, as soon as you've actually published your design and you post it on your blog or you post it on social media and you've got that feedback and people are like, hey, how did you design that? Or that looks awesome. Then people feel you know, a lot more confident to keep doing this over and over again. It's just really about getting started and diving in. Yeah, love it, love it. And the other thing that I've noticed that um, one thing I like to use it for is even just putting your branding on an image, that kind of thing, so you could create it, but then you can also put in, if you do, uh, would you suggest, I've done this with where I've done a PNG, mm -hmm. and then you, you just add a little logo at the bottom, or your website at the very bottom of any image that you want to use, and that way when, if people are sharing it, it's getting out there, you're also getting your brand out there. Do you have any suggestions on that kind of thing? Yeah, absolutely. So that that is a great idea. Um, any images that you're publishing from your brand, you it'd be great to brand it, of course, because <laughs> I mean, when it's being repinned or shared, people are actually seeing your brand. And a really easy way to do that is actually if you create a design, um, you can actually just keep using that same design over again. You can copy the page and have a um, I, di I didn't show you in there, but next to the page is a little button that says copy, and so it means that you can just copy that exact same page. So if you've created a nice template, you can just use that over and over again, and it's um, very simple to keep that consistency, you know, of the positioning of your logo and that sort of thing. You don't necessarily need to um, create a new document and try and reposition it each time. Mm -hmm. And the same applies on the home page. There's a copy button, so you can just copy the same um, template again and again. Um, so you can reuse it, um, all of the elements that you've created. If you create a really great social media graphic and you want to do a series, you know, just changing up the text each time or changing up the photo, uh, it's very simple to do that. So Nice. Yeah. I have not used the copy yet. I, I caught it, but I guess I didn't realize what the use of it was for. Yeah. So I like it. Okay, so that will, that saves just, that saves tons of time too. So basically, to, to to follow up with the, kind of to wrap all this up, your company is, in my opinion, going to save people time, money, energy, <laughs> create beautiful <laughs> graphics, um, let's see, <laughs> well, we can go on and on, but it really is uh, money and time saver, and it's simple. Yeah, that's certainly what we hope to do. Love it. And what do you see your future with uh, images and that kind of thing? What do you have? Do you have anything down the road that you can reveal to us that you're thinking about doing or coming up with? We have so much down the road. <laughs> there is a lot going on at Canva at the moment that we've been working on very hard. Um, and so over the next few months in particular, you're going to see a lot of new aspects of Canva revealed. Our vision is to take enable people to take their idea and turn it into a design, whether that be for web or print, really, really quickly. And so we feel like we're just getting started <laughs> with nice. um, being able to help people to do that. 
Good. Well, I like I said, I'm a big fan, and I'm sure everybody listening will be a big fan too after hearing this. So uh, I appreciate Melanie so much you coming on on the show because uh, we'll we'll have to have you again. Maybe Guy at some point. We uh, definitely need to uh, keep the word out about Canva and spread spread the love of Canva. So thank, thank you so much. Thank you too. Have a good one. Thank you very much. You too. Bye.